Here I am on my proverbial doorstep in Inman Square, the gallery. Life drawing is underway, and today my mission on this Memorial Weekend Sunday with all of its happy throngs is to go see what's up with the Longfellow Bridge. This is Inman Square, Cambridge on a typical holiday nonsense weekend. And this is Hampshire Street right at the corner of Hampshire and Prospect. To get down to the Longfellow, we're going to walk all the way to Kendall Square, dodging nitwits and cars and stuff. There'll be self-absorbed people at nearly every corner. It just comes with the territory. This takes you down to Central Square, the servants' quarters of Cambridge. This takes us off to the wilds of Somerville, uh, Union Square, a far more interesting place than this. And Little Inman Square is kind of a sloppy bar district, a dating pickup dump with offices and stuff. It's a pretty busy intersection. Cambridge has endless weird little squares named after illustrious locals. Bunny Wood played saxophone, but I don't think they have a square dedicated to Johnny Hodges, who lived over in Cambridgeport. They lost track of where. And this building that once was a cleaning and dyeing industrial laundry operation eventually became a home to the late Mark Sandman. This is where his loft is located. And as you can see over here, solar panels deployed on top of the DPW office building. I believe Mr. Sandman lived on the third floor. Never actually went there, but somewhere up there general purpose artist law, kind of, if you can afford it. Here's Norfolk Street, home to the uh, Elder Marathon Bomber Brother, somewhere down around in this mess. It's the crucible of his disdain and dismay with the American way. Probably didn't like the rants, who knows. And there's not a lot of useful stuff around here. The main advantage of this strip, for those of you who foolishly attempt to drive in this city, this is a fairly handy place to park a car without feeding a meter if you can find a spot. You've got to walk a little bit, but that's good for you. And over here you have a little Cambridge Pocket Park. These things dot the city. You'd think the winos would use them more, but they don't seem to understand them. The winos aren't that imaginative. Columbia Street is a reasonably significant little intersection, arterial, as you move from Inman Square down to Kendall Square. And 
out the array of little useful things, a bodega, a place to get coffee, and uh, laundry of course. This takes you down to Central Square, eventually. And we'll resume heading south towards Boston and the soon to be eviscerated and put back together again Longfellow Bridge. This is kind of a quiet back section of Cambridge between Inman Square and Kendall Square. My father owned an array of properties here when they were low budget slums. <coughs> In the midst of the 50s and 60s, the cities were emptying out as people wanted to live in this new soulless thing they called suburbia. It was kind of one of those periods. But now that's all fallen out of favor for the most part. It has its constituents. But people are increasingly interested in living in these flea bag properties that are often subpar and poorly maintained when they're for rent and jacked up and expensive when they're for sale. So. Now this sort of garish orange building once housed me in the 1980s. It was, at that time it was owned by a, an old Costa Rican guy. That was actually my bedroom window. And eventually some pottery chicks took over and booted us all out. The inexorable march of gentrification had begun. And this place used to be a hilarious bucket of blood, crappy bar. Now it's infested with yuppies. And from that bedroom window once, I observed a strange midsummer comedy. What are they calling it now? Lord Hobo, good Lord. So yeah, I'm in my room and I hear a commotion right here on this corner and it's an ambulance, big boxy thing, coming to fetch some poor soul who had a heart attack or whatever in the bar. It was a hot summer day and then all of a sudden an ice cream truck shows up and it was had a boxy resemblance to the ambulance and promptly proceeded to sell sugar slop to the hordes of curious who had come to watch them wheel a guy out on a gurney. This is new. We should soon be coming to one Kendall Square and the first point where the whole mess blends. Mm -hmm. 